Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is yet another Thursday evening, and I'm so blessed, humble, glad to be able to come and share prayer. And I will start with scripture. Psalms chapter 69, verse 32. The humble will see their God at work and be glad. Let all who seek God's help be encouraged. Father God, we thank you for this new day, your grace, your mercy, your favor, your unfailing love, Father God. We thank you for your precious son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all of our sins and rose with all power. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit and invite the Holy Spirit to be in this prayer, to be with us in our thought, our walk, and our talk. Father God, we ask that you pardon us from all our sin, those we commit intentionally or unintentionally that offend thee, Father God. We we come together because your word says when two or more gather in your name that you be in the midst. We stand on your word, Father God. I thank you for my prayer partners, my brother, Minister Allen, the Morning Glory Group, the Shape Group, the Wonderful Women of God. Um, and my other groups, I, it's just so much right now, but I just thank you, Father God, and I thank you for keeping me. I thank you for keeping us, um, not only in metropolitan Detroit, but around the world, to, the storms are raging, Maui and the fires, and Canada and the fires, and the hurricane in California. We know that you are God all by yourself, and we're asking that you to have mercy on us, Father God, and all those who are affected by the inclement weather, Father God, we ask that you have mercy on us. Um, the peace in, in Ukraine and in other various places in the world, Father God, that's war is brewing. We ask that you have mercy, Father God. And I, I trust that you are not pleased with so much evil, so much divisiveness. And your word says that these things will come to be, Father God. But I just pray, and my prayer partners touch and agree with me, that someone is encouraged, that someone come to know you in the pardoning of their sins, that someone draw closer to you, Father God. Those who don't know you to come to know you. And those of us who do know you, to come to serve you in a way that please you, that do kingdom building. Oh, I thank you for every church that's open in your name. And I thank you for my home church, Cater's Baptist Church um, of Detroit, Senior Pastor Greg Foster. We have a 6 p.m. daily prayer call. And I just thank you for them continuing to lift um, even this prayer ministry in, in prayer, Father God, to you. And for kingdom building to draw souls, Father God, we know that you give us the opportunity to see um, plant seeds and, and you give us opportunity to water. But we know that it is you that give increase, Father God. So we just thank you that we know your word. I pray for our senior pastor, Greg Foster II. As well as I pray for our world leaders, um, our community leaders. I pray for all those in law enforcement working a midnight shift, first responders, medical personnel, those in the travel industry, Father God. Um, in times of, of, of disaster, times of stress, times of strain. These are the people that we call on, that we depend on, Father God. And I just pray that neighbors and people can look out for each other, that these things are happening, that um, we should draw closer to look out for our brothers and sisters and help them, as your word says, to, to love thy neighbor. And we love thy neighbor by sharing, by caring, by being there, Father God. And oh, we just thank you and we bless your holy name we will not take it for granted we pray for those who have a bereaved heart a broken heart father god we know that you can touch them father god mentally physically emotionally financially spiritually whatever anyone is going through father god we know that nothing is impossible father god that you can turn things around oh yes in this midnight hour even though it's storming outside father god oh i bless your holy name that you have even calmed the storm and allowed me to get home safely father god i thank you that um 
on this week prayer focus all of those returning back to school all of the students we pray travel and mercies we pray a covering over them while they are away at school um, as well as for all of the faculty um, and support staff I thank you that my nephew graduated from um, his advanced AIT school in the military and safely made it back home. So we thank you for that. We thank you that my baby girl, we took her to college yesterday and that it's starting her senior year that she will be graduating. I just thank you that our family is able to see the cycles of life, Father God, that our young people are growing up and doing amazing things, Father God. And we know that it's by your grace and your mercy, and we thank you, and we bless your holy name for them, as well as um, kindness. Um, as I um, was uh, navigating and enjoying the fact that I had a cousin here from visiting from Nashville and a cousin here from DC that um, we had the opportunity to spend family time together celebrate um, his god mom's 98th birthday and what a blessing to be able to fellowship and celebrate so we just honor you God for that as well as um, the dream cruise. And my other cousin was able to partake in that. So I just thank you for family being able to come in and um, being able to share hospitality. And Father God, that's what your word says about family, about love. And I just thank you that we were able to do all of that as well as today celebrate um the Wayne County Sheriff's birthday where I was able to meet new friends and see old friends and celebrate with all Father God and I don't take it for granted I am a miracle I thank you for continuing to keep me Father God and I ask that you continue to um, order my steps and if someone is hearing this and need a prayer partner reach out um, contact me I will be your prayer partner I pray for everyone to be in a Bible teaching, Bible preaching, kingdom building church inside and outside of the walls, Father God. And for the things that I did not mention, Father God, you know what they are. But we thank you. We bless your holy name for this time, for this season of celebration as well as time to draw near and to look out for each other but more importantly to glorify you so um if i left out anything please do not charge it to my heart charge it to my head we thank you we love you in the matchless name of jesus we say amen so we were left in peace, so I too would say peace in the matchless name of Jesus.